Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time and today we're finally going to be able to do it. Today we're doing a how many milk jugs test? 6.5 Creedmoor and we're going to be comparing it to a 308 Winchester. Both of the rifles here are exactly the same. This black one on the bottom is the 308. This is a Ruger American in 308. And the one on top here is my brand new Ruger American 65 Creedmoor. All right, first shot is with the 308. Let's see if we can catch this bullet. Like I said, my guess is gonna be four jugs. Looks like we hit it square. Let's go down there and see what happened. I forgot to number the jugs, but I know I had six up there. There's three up there on a the table right now. Went in number three. Looks like it came out number three. There's a hole in the front. Oh wait, no. That's jug number four, guys. My bad. Wait, no. I'm losing my mind. There were six jugs. One, two, three. This would be jug number four. So it went in and out jug number four. That's what I get for not marking them. There's a hole in the front of number five, but no hole in the back. So that bullet's either gotta be in the fourth one or the fifth one. Let's pour out this number four here first. See if we can find the bullet. Looking down inside of it, I don't see one. Nope, no bullet. So, my guess was wrong. Looks like we might have a bullet here in jug number five, maybe? I sure hope we do. It doesn't sound like it. Hmm. So, I don't ever remember that happening. We had a hole in the back of the fourth jug and the front of the fifth one, but we didn't catch the bullet. Hmm. I'm not happy with that. We're going to have to shoot the 308 again. <clears throat> All right, take two with the 308. Let's uh, really hope we catch it, otherwise I'm going to run out of milk jugs. Aim center just like we did last time. And hope we can catch it this time. Well, the slow-mo camera fell over, so that's a bummer. The water from shooting out the side blew my slow-mo camera down on the ground, but hopefully we still got some footage. So, very similar to last time, where we've got a hole in jug number four, and there's just a bulge out the back of number four, and just barely enough of a punch in number five to have some water drops coming out of it, so. It sounds like, woo, we actually caught the bullet in the jug this time, thank goodness. So, let's pour it out in some light here. See if we can find that 308 bullet that we caught here in the fourth jug. So, there you go. There is our 308 soft point bullet we caught it in four milk jugs so let's go shoot the 65 creedmoor and see if we can catch it see what it mushrooms out to look like 
All right, now the 6.5 Creedmoor. I've got the slow-mo camera at a little bit different angle, so hopefully the water explosion doesn't knock it over this time. But here we go, 6.5 Creedmoor. Move this down so you can actually see me. But here we go, 6.5 Creedmoor. How many milk jugs? Now we shot that 6.5 again. If we caught this one, I'm gonna be happy, happy, happy. I've been trying to catch these bullets for way too long now. So walking up to the table, we had six. We got three up there. The fourth jug as a whole looks to be still dead center. We spin it around. There's an exit out the back. And there's also another hole there, but Let's check here first in jug number four and see if there's a bullet in here. And there is. So check this out. Fourth jug caught Mr. 6.5 Creedmoor. It looked like it might have separated from the jacket. Yep, there's the lid. And there is the jacket. So. 6.5 Creedmoor, there's the lead, it kind of separated. And then let me get out that 308 that we caught. There's that baby there, and that all stayed together with the jacket. But you can see looking at the back of it there, the size difference in those rounds with the smaller, skinnier 6.5 next to the 308 but and there's the lead side by side 308 quite a bit bigger and heavier than that 6.5 Creedmoor so finally caught the 6.5 Creedmoor in a milk jug and we caught it in jug number four just like the 308 so 308 versus 6.5 Creedmoor in the how many milk jugs test it's an absolute tie for milk jugs. So, it's a tie guys. Milk jug test, 308 versus 6.5, four jugs. There you have it. A big shout out and a big thanks to everybody who've requested the 6.5 Creedmoor videos. We're gonna be shooting that a whole lot more. A big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. Everybody go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a whole bunch of awesome videos we post every single day. It's ridiculous. We've got tons of old videos we've put up in the past, so if you're new to the channel, go check those guys out. Let me know if you have ideas for future videos. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!